All right, so uh, today we got the uh, Yaesu FT840. Many of you that own this radio know this radio does not transmit at a band. It does not work on 11 meters and 60, I believe. So we're going to go through the uh, modification. No soldering, no clipping, or any electronic skills required for this. Uh, this does bring in the uh, 11 meter CB band. I don't know about the 60 meter, so we can't guarantee. But this, we're going to go through the 11 meter mod anyway for this radio. First thing I did was remove all the screws out of the radio. And now, what we'll do is we'll uh, take the top off the radio and then we'll remove the bottom. All right, so we got the top off and there's a little clip for your speaker here. And uh, there's a little tab right there. You just lift that up and it should slide apart fairly easy. Now what we're looking for for this modification is TP203. And you will find some T's over here, but you will not find it on this side of the radio. So now you have to flip the radio over and get at the bottom. We got the screws out here, just in case you're wondering what screws I left in. I did uh, leave all four little stands, I guess you call them, feet, legs. Those are the only ones I didn't remove. So don't worry about a power supply dropping out here when you unscrew these two or nothing like that. It's not like an old Navajo. All right, so now that we got this Loosen up, we'll just lift up the back and we'll pop it off. All right, so with the bottom of the radio off, give you an idea where I am, we're gonna stay to the left side of the radio. And we're gonna come right up by the memory battery. I'm gonna try to come in here and show you, but there's what you're looking for, right there. TP2003. So as I lift it up, just to give you an idea, right there. Now what I'm going to do is I am going to take these alligator clips, I'm going to connect one lead to that TP2003, and I am going to hook the other end up to the chassis for a ground. So you can see there we got the uh, alligator clip hooked up to the uh, TP2003 and then it's going to run along outside the chassis and clip just to the body of it. Okay and we just clipped the other part of the alligator clip to the body of the radio. Alright so the first thing we're going to do folks is we're going to press and hold the single sideband and the AM button and we're going to turn on the radio. Now when we do this, it should say O2 off. All right, and as planned, it says off. Now what we got to do is we have to turn the main control to show O2 on. All right, that was easy. Now we're going to press AM, and the display should read 7 flat. All right, let's press the AM. Hey, 7 flat on lower sideband. So you want to look for lower sideband, 7 flat. All right, now we turn the uh, power off. All right, so now what we got to do is press and hold the memory up and down buttons right here and uh, we're going to turn the radio back on. And then the last thing we got to do is just turn the radio off and now what we're going to do is remove the alligator clip from the radio 
and we are going to reassemble it. All right, that's what everybody's waiting to see. So let's see if it worked. All right, here goes nothing. So far, so good. We're still on side band. We'll hit. All right. Oh, I just heard my tuner do something. All right, so as you see, we are in the middle of the CB band. We're going to get just a little bit of power, not much. Just a little bit. Just, and we're going to turn the mic game down. All right, so we got a little bit of power. Let's hit the tuner button. Tuner is activated. As you see, we will hit the start button. Pay attention to the meter. See if it says TX here. See if we get any power here. Here we go. Oh, did you see that? We have transmit. So I will grab the microphone now. And we will key up the mic. And we seem to have a key up. And we'll check out another radio just to see. And we definitely have key up. All right, now lastly, on a final note here, I did not show this mod so everybody could come out here and mod their Yaesu FT840 and transmit illegally at a band on their radio. If you were unfortunate enough to buy a Yaesu FT840 that was modded, say by a Mud Duck uh, CB operator, you just follow these steps and you just turn the main dial to off, and that will disable the AM transmit on the radio. I'm not going to go through all that, but I am going to take the radio back apart now and uh, I will disable that and we have been transmitting into a dummy load. So uh, thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Hell, dislike if you want, but do something. That is my 150 watt dummy load. So that's what we were transmitting into. No laws were broken. Again, if you bought a Yaesu FT840 from a Beer and it has an illegal modification, this is the steps you use to disable that illegal modification. Once again, thank you for watching.